Christian revival at high school sparks student protest for secularism. Woo! <laughs> In West Virginia, on February 9th, more than 100 students of West Virginia's Huntington High School protested a recent Christian Revival Assembly. The students were told that, this, that their participation in the assembly was compulsory. During the walkout, students chanted, quote, separate church and state and my faith, my choice. According to Jed Flowers, a spokesperson for the uh, Ke Kebel county schools, the event was supposed to be voluntary, but teachers allegedly thought the event was compulsory. Bethany uh, Fellenton, a parent of one of the students, said her Jewish son tried asking permission to leave, but was told he couldn't go because the classrooms were locked. The students were also told that those who did not follow the Bible would go to hell. Freedom From Religion Foundation sent a letter to the Cabell County School District stating that it's inappropriate and unconstitutional for the district to proselytize to students during school hours on school property. The American Civil Liberties Union of West Virginia stated that these activities are a violation of the students' civil rights. So what's going to happen to them legally? Well, actually... If you look at the in the notes on the third news, there's a second link that I would like you to bring up because this is breaking news. Ooh, okay, breaking news. Okay, breaking news. YouTube or FFRF? Uh, there's two FFRF. Links. Okay, I'm bringing it up. Breaking. So the latest update is that FFRF is actually filed a federal lawsuit against the school district because of this. FFRF, for people who don't know, is a Freedom From Religion Foundation. It's, one of, it's the main uh, guard in the United States between religion um, and, you know, the public sphere and, the, you know, the sco school, actually. Um, public schools, government institutions, and everywhere where religion shouldn't be. Any violation of secularism uh, in the United States is uh, fought against by the freedom from religion foundation so for people who don't know but yeah so this is so what happened so this this yes. sued them that's great yes this, the, 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 these are the organize this is the organization that makes sure that there's a cost when any violations like this happens in the united states okay so exactly. you guys any american should be very very grateful for freedom from religion foundation i think a lot of americans don't know how much they owe the freedom from religion foundation because like it's it's like mm -hmm. the, the main guard against stuff like this, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, one hundred percent. Yeah. Do you say I'm a member? Yay. Shouts out! Everyone <laughs> should go support Freedom from Religion Foundation if they're able. Well, not everybody. Everybody, like, if you're obviously, if you are struggling financially, well, that's what I just said. If you're, if they're able. Oh, okay, sorry. Um, this is great. This is great. By the way, this is why United States is still superior to all these other countries that we complain about when it comes to secular secularism like you know we keep complaining we do complain a, about a lot of things in the united states okay but you have to take things into context relatively relatively stuff like this like you know in some countries people go to jail forever for blasphemy in some countries where religion is trying to be forced upon children in schools you get you get a backlash you get consequences right you get real consequences right so this is mm -hmm. this is why this is why United States is still ahead of, you know, the rest of you. Okay, one of the reasons. Okay. So, oh wow! Yeah. Squirrel Coney is saying I put the Freedom from Religion Foundation in my will. Atheist Republic too. Oh wow! wow. Amazing. Wow. How old? How old are you? <laughs> You're terrible. I'm, I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Inappropriate. No, I'm um, kidding. <laughs> Wait, so there's Thank a you. YouTube video sweet. about this incident that Thank I want to play. Can you bring that up, please? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, um, blank name is saying, I'm a, oh. I'm a citizen now. This makes me feel so good. Oh, oh awesome. Go I didn't oh, know that. Congratulations. Wait, congratulations. That's amazing. Okay, hold on. We Let have a new American it. amongst us. And we get to call blank name a proud American. Hell yeah. That's right, baby. <laughs> Welcome yeah, I guess 
I think the only way you could be proud about being an American oh, is that if you actually had to do something to become an American. Like, I don't think like it makes sense for you somebody to be a proud American if they didn't do anything. You know, I think pride is for things you do, not for the things that you're just handed to you, right? But yeah, so blank name, you could be proud to be American because you actually took some steps in in getting it. Anyway, so here's a clip. Yeah, so this is kind of, so we can actually see some footage from what happened at this school. If I were to ask how many of you believe in this man, most of you would raise your hands and say yes. And if you believe that everything in this book is true, then you must also believe the parts about judgment, about heaven and hell. And so the, the first option you have is hearing him say, well done. The, second the separation of church and state and religious freedom as a concept are founding basic tenets of this country, you know, and the, the, the kind of culture and lifestyle that we all live. And just to, to see that defamed and ignored in such a blatant way, it's, it's disheartening. And we would very much like to see some kind of formal uh, disciplinary action taken against the teachers that force their students to attend. And so the, the first option you have is hearing him say, well done. The second thing that might happen to you is he might look at you like, uh, maybe like some of you look at some people. But I, I want to read something I wrote to you. I said, I want My to God. apologize to you when we went to the auditorium yesterday. I was not familiar with the people associated with the Christian athletes. I thought they would be discussing choices and goals with you. I should have had a sleep, but I did not want to be rude. Because, you know, my son said the teacher and faculty or faculty and administration were there hmm. and they were praying alongside people from this ministry. They were participating in it as if it were a church service. So if she was somehow shocked as to what was going on at the time, she sure didn't act like it <laughs> um, when it was going on. His mother. Um, that, that's something we'd never force on anybody, um, and we have no enemies. Whether it's in a church or in a school or on the street, uh, the vision is to give hope by showing people. Look at these people. Look at them. Okay, you have giant. Like, look at the facilities they have. Look at all the resources they have. Is that not enough for you? You have to come and force this up in schools. Like, you have your own places. You have your own freedom. You could do all these like Jesus woo crap as much as you want in your own personal like, private areas. Like you have everything. You have more resources to spread your bull crap more than any other religion in the United States. You have all of this. And it's like, no, it's not enough. We have to come and into your school in a place that is not meant for these. And we have to like force our way as there as well. Like sit down. Just sit down. Oh my God, somebody needs to like show these people their place but yeah well that's what we have the law for baby um wow so this was an associated an associated press i'm glad this got so much attention oh this wow. got wow. national and international coverage this was a really big deal because this is really not supposed to happen and this is really against like mm -hmm. so many different aspects of uh our law and what our country stands for a large portion of the problem comes from the fact that this happened during school hours. So it happened during a period that these students have in their day that's kind of like a voluntary break where they can go study or they can, I don't know, maybe have an extra lunch, but it's, it's a break period. And during this break period is when these students were taken into this Christian assembly that was happening in the middle of school hours. So it's very common for public schools to rent out their spaces to different organizations. Like oftentimes um, they'll have Alcoholics Anonymous, um, you know, have their meetings uh, on these properties. But these are typically happening after school hours. They should be happening after school hours. Legally, religious organizations are allowed to use and rent these properties but it's supposed to be after school hours so that if so this kind of thing doesn't happen um and this, so this was just like a huge violation and 
the fact that some teachers somehow thought that this was <laughs> like they mandatory and so they made the students go that's where a lot of this problem really lies um i thought uh, it was awesome to see how um much the students have come and spoken out about this i saw secular rarity saying earlier in the chat that we wouldn't have known about this if students were not informed on their rights and spoke out against it or mm. knew to take footage of this and be like this isn't right in the article and by the associated press uh, it was an exchange between um a, a kid and his father well the preacher is going on about how if you're not you know don't find salvation through jesus christ you'll go to hell to these students and say like, i'm gonna make sure that everyone who's here today you know doesn't leave without knowing him um mm. and he's texting his dad and was like is this legal and then the dad is like no no it's not <laughs> see see this is good this is what okay so oxymoron is in india right i believe so so oxymoron is saying i really don't understand why why this is a big deal i know it's a problem but nothing very shocking so this is a difference what it is. yes very so this is a good thing so these kids are have been informed of their rights so because they are more aware of their rights they know that this is a problem and that's why they're taking an action. So this is this is why a top-down approach it doesn't just work. Like you can't just like change policies and laws. You also uh, that's important, but you also need to make sure that you create a population of people that are, are educated and aware of their rights, and they see that this is as a problem. Like you're not going to see people fight for secularism if they have oxymoron's attitude, and if they have oxymoron attitude, they're like, oh, it's not a big deal. This is why you get India, and this is why you get Pakistan. This is why you get Pak Bangladesh. This is why you get like uh, countries that people don't see worth protecting their rights. They see it not a, not, a, not a big deal. And the politicians and the laws will reflect how much people are willing to fight for their rights because governments are not just going to come voluntarily just give you their rights you these are things that that you need to fight for and be, to make people fight for it you have to make sure they understand that th these are their rights and also worth fighting for with this attitude you're going to lose your secularism and this is the attitude that leads into india losing your secularism yeah i don't I, I mean, this is obviously like a cultural thing and me just kind of being raised around the norms of this country, but this is shocking as an American. Yeah. This is very unusual and this shouldn't be happening. I, do you see all these other kinds of technicalities like, you know, after school evangelism and stuff, but actually forcing public school students to go to a Christian revival is such a massive violation. I don't know how much it's fair to say that this is why you get you know situations like oh, you see in india armin i don't think that's entirely fair i know a lot of people who are deeply bothered by the fact that in police stations there will be shrines they're like this is okay, unacceptable so it's not black yeah but that's black and white thinking okay it's a spectrum it's not like it's either there or not there obviously in every country there are people who care about this right large number of people who care about mm -hmm. this right i'm just using an anecdotal evidence to make a wider point like the more people are willing to defend their secularism, the more you're going to see, you know, the, more, the higher cost that people who want to challenge it have to pay, right? The more people, I, I don't think it's a, I don't think it's very controversial to say that there are more people in the United States that see this as a value than um, on a per capita basis, you know, on an average basis relative to India, right? Um, more people in India um, are willing to um, sacrifice secularism in favor of defending religious values or even people who are um, in favor of secularism sometimes they see it as not a big deal if it's just like I don't know prayer in school or like uh, bindi you know in school and that's why like they just open the door to religion in places where religion doesn't belong right and then they're going to going to wonder how they lost their values so you just pointing out some examples of people yeah there are many people in india who are fighting the fight right but on average this is not as as seen as important as it as it's as people see it in like france or like um canada or united states right the idea of secular uh, you know separation of church and state um or church and you know public schooling it are things that are more fundamental in i don't know uh, in countries like france canada 
United States than you know than it is in India and Pakistan. And again, it starts from the education, right? It starts like the education system is your future. If you do not defend that, if you le let religion enter that sphere, then you lose the future of your country. So it is a very important um if, uh, you know place that you need to guard against the dominance of religion it's, it is your it is your country's future like what could be more important the the idea of this is not being that important is ridiculous right and i don't I'm, i know this is anecdotal so i'm not saying this as a proof this is just an example uh but it is not as defend as as much as we are proud of all the secular activists and atheist activists that are in india they are they are outnumbered okay so i'm not um i'm not dismissing their activities i think like we should just help them <laughs> recruit <laughs> with recruitment <laughs> that's what i'm saying relatively they're behind yeah i just feel like that's a little bit of a generalization or maybe not it's stats it's not generalization because i didn't say all oh. i don't know if that's directly attributable to those things like that's it's oh it is very it it's bit. very directly it is definitely the more people okay so it's it's not generalization because i didn't say everybody's like that i just said it's less okay it's not like it's either there or not there okay it's it could be more in one country and less in another country it would be generalization if i said everybody in india is like that that would be a generalization right in fact if you do not acknowledge the fact that it's not there's not enough activity there's not enough defense of these values in india that's actually a um that actually is more helpful because you're you understand that there's a lot more work need to be done right and you're trying to provide a platform um and facilities for people to in, increase those kinds of activities right um and also if you think like it's not attributable like again it goes into the philosophy of thinking like oh the government will just provide this it, it, we can just only complain about the government and the things that they're not providing for us no this is something that you take from the government it's not something that the rights are something that you take from governments it's not something that governments just gift to you okay so for you to fight and take things rights from the government you need to have an attitude that these are rights worth fighting for so obviously if you do not have that attitude these rights will not be taken so it is directly correlated i don't it's 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 one on one Right? So it has a very high R value, the correlation. Mm. Okay. Um, <clears throat> this is, wait, where is it? This is hilarious. Doorknob Head is saying that he just crossed out in God We Trust <laughs> 25 times on his paper money because of Atheist Republic in this story. <laughs> <laughs> I was imagining him furiously <laughs> with all of his cash. <laughs> well, thank you for your service, Dornhaben. <laughs> thank you for your service, sir. <laughs> and blank name is saying, interesting thing is that when you take the oath to become a citizen, you have to agree, so help me God. I think there have been legal cases where you don't actually literally have to do this. There is an alternative. I could be wrong, but... That would be shocking to me if there was not a completely like not mentioning God alternative that was not as legally acceptable. Um, yeah. yeah. Mm, wait. Secular is legal saying legally you don't have to, just like swearing in court. That's what I, I know, but. It you don't legally, you don't have to, but it should also not be encouraged because you might like the the idea of you feeling like everybody else is doing it and you you're gonna feel like the odd one out i don't i think it shouldn't be like it shouldn't be something that is even brought up like oh you we're gonna do it but you don't have to do it like you're gonna look like less american or whatever you know what i mean like you're, you're gonna feel like oh my like i'm i'm joining this country to feel like i belong here and then from the very beginning it seems like i'm saying not saying something that everyone else say like hey welcome you're you're one of us, I guess, maybe like we're the rest of us are saying this, but you're not, I guess you're one of us. You know what I mean? Like it just doesn't come. I, I think it should be illegal to even bring it up. Um, anyways, Mustafa is saying when I got my citizenship, I just said, so help me. And they shrugged it off. Yeah, but you don't have to be forced to, you don't have to go through that. Like people are like me, okay, whatever. Like, no, it shouldn't be like, it shouldn't be something that like, it's kind of like, 
saying we're gonna have prayer in classrooms, but you don't have to pray oh, as yeah, a student. That's some bullshit. Yeah, like oh yeah, I'm gonna be the kid like everybody is praying and everybody is like I'm just gonna be like the one who's sitting and people are like like what's wrong with this kid? You know what I mean? Like it's it's like a very the environment that you're creating is just like telling non-religious people or non-Christians that you're otherized. Oh, the word is otherizing. You're otherizing non-religious people or non-Christians, right? So yeah, Mustafa, I'm sorry. I, you know, I don't know. It, it, yeah, you shouldn't have gone through that. You shouldn't have been made to. So many naturalized citizens in the in the chat today. You so many what? USA. You <laughs> yeah. say, you say. <laughs> By the way, um, Americans who, you know, naturalized, naturalized, is that what you say? Yeah? Mm -hmm. yeah, they know more about America than um, most people, most Americans, because they have to actually go through a citizenship test, right? Yeah. I think, like, yeah, I think that's unfair. Like, why do these people have to go through a citizenship test? But all these other Americans don't have to. You, you know, know what's funny like, is for a lot of people. So in America during high school, you have to take American history classes. And um, so what some history classes have started to do is to pass the class. You have to be able to pass the test they give you to become a U.S. citizen. Yeah. I love Are that. You? I think that's kind of cool. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I, I, I got distracted by this comment because Mustafa made a misspelled something and it sounds more funny now than what he meant to say. So, <laughs> so, so he corrected it later, but <laughs> but read this anyway. It's just I funny. paid $1,000 for the process. If I didn't get my citizenship, <laughs> they know I'll be kissed. <laughs> 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 he, was, <laughs> he then corrected it. He said, he piss, not kiss. Yes, but imagine if that was the process. Like, we are not going to give you our citizenship, but <laughs> we'll give you kisses instead. <laughs> Come here. Come, <laughs> Come here. This is like, Come here, better. you beautiful bastard. <laughs> <laughs> No, you're not an American, but here I know you're not kisses. an American. <laughs> you're beautiful, but at awesome. least we gave you kisses. Oh my god! <laughs> okay, okay, okay. All right, all right, <laughs> all right. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> okay. Should we clap for the next news? Oh no, this is not good news at all. We're covering uh, a lot of Pakistan news this week. And unfortunately, what is it's the all roller bad. coaster? Okay, we can't just do like okay news, bad news, okay news. Like we're like in a good mood, and all of a sudden we have to go in a bad mood. Like maybe we should like do put all the bad news next to each other and the good news next to each other. I don't know. Well, I do I switch on and off because I don't want it to be a complete bummer the whole time. Okay, yeah, you know, right. I wanna right. I wanna right. I wanna lift but the then, mood. But then like, but then you crash to... the mood. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but then like we're like Still on the high from the previous news. Okay, fine. Okay. <laughs> this is hilarious. <laughs> you can't be an American, but goddamn, this looks like good. Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> I'm mm, <crying>. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Oh god. Okay. See now we can't go to the next news. We need recovery time because it's gonna look insensitive if we go. Yeah, okay, okay. <sighs> All right, let me drink some water. <laughs> my abs <laughs> hurt. <clears throat> All right. Hey guys, if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy Cali, you know like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. 
So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.